today's video, we will have a quick look at my freckle tree monitors and I'll show you how I keep them. The scientific name for the freckle tree monitor is Varanus tristis orientalis. It is a subspecies of the more common black-headed monitor Varanus tristis tristis. They are smaller in size and retain more of their pattern into adulthood when compared to the black-headed monitors, but the care of the two are generally the same. Freckle tree monitors can be found in central, northern and eastern parts of Australia. They are quite arboreal monitors and like to live in tree hollows. I have a breeding trio living in a 4x4x2.5 foot form play enclosure with plenty of hollow logs. I've added a bark background to increase the useful space in the enclosure and have a heated nest box for them to lay eggs. The heated nest box has about 25cm depth of sand and coconut husk mix. The substrate in there is not wet but damp enough to hold a burrow. The heated nest box is more humid than the rest of the enclosure, so it doubles as a microhabitat for them to utilize as an option. For the monitor's lighting, I have a fluorescent UV light and two basking lamps. I use 120 watt halogen globes during the summer to achieve a basking spot above 50 degrees Celsius. I change out the globes to lower wattages during the winter months. The day length in summer is 12 hours and I gradually reduce it down to 8 hours during winter. The shortened day length and decreased basking temperatures help replicate the seasons in the wild. I don't provide any nighttime heat at all and the enclosure can get down to 12 degrees on the coldest nights. I feed them woodies 80% of the time and the rest of the diet consists of chicken hearts, day old chicken legs and turkey mince. I would increase the amount of high energy food as they come out of winter to get them ready for breeding. Last season was the first time they bred. I incubated the eggs in perlite at 29 degrees Celsius. The eggs took 130 days to hatch. It took the hatchlings about another 5-7 to seven days to start eating properly and it took a lot of encouragement at the start. They would only eat crickets at the beginning but I managed to transition them onto woodies after about a month. Once they got good at hunting insects on their own, I changed their substrate from kitchen towels to sand and coconut husk mix, which is what the adults are on. Other than supplying the young ones with nighttime heating, I keep them exactly the same as the adults. I think these will always be one of my favourite small monitors. It's the whole process of getting my breeding trio as hatchlings originally, growing them up, and now raising their offspring too. It's really a rewarding experience. They have amazing patterns and colours. They stay at a very manageable size, and some adults, especially the males, can get a bit used to handling too. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.